Good morning and welcome to the Elevate Renatus team call. This is your host, Keely Austin. Today is Wealth Wednesday. It's December 2nd. Grateful to be here with you this morning. Our quote of the day today is you are allowed to be both a masterpiece and a work in progress simultaneously. If you haven't already, make sure that you mark your calendar for March 18th through the 20th. Get those three days cleared out and make sure that you're present for our 2021 Renatus National Conference. We're gonna be meeting online for our conference next year. The theme is shift, shifting higher into focused transformation. We also have our dates for a leaders retreat. We're going to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. That is gonna be August 13th through the 17th, 2021. Make sure you mark your calendar for that. And on Mondays, we have our Renatus Founders Live with our CEO, Bob Snyder. Some really important announcements happen on that webinar. We also have some great recognition and a training of the day, a story of the week. It's a really, really great Founders Live and you don't wanna miss it. Mondays at 4 p.m. Mountain Time on Facebook. And then every week, now we are having a weekly private capital masterclass every Thursday at 6 p.m. Mountain Time for AIT students only. Make sure that you're watching your classes, bring your questions, challenges, or advice and value to these calls. They're, they've been a lot of fun, very valuable. We also have our dream call, the Daily Real Estate Action Mastermind. That's Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 9.45. And we're talking all things real estate investing. And then Fridays, we've got our fabulous Friday morning with Lily Pertus from 8 to 9 Mountain Time. And last but not least, Monday through Friday at noon, we have our Zoom up call. Scott Rowe and Michael Huggins put this together where each and every day we've got a different success story to plug in our guests to. So make sure that you're tuning into the Zoom up call Monday through Friday at noon. To do that, at the very bottom of the screen here, you can see the, the link that you would use in your URL. It's bit.ly slash zoom up. So make sure again, you're tuning into that and you can find the recordings as well on our YouTube channel, Elevate Renatus. This is a helpful website. There's just a six minute video there, oesoes.com. Michael Huggins put together a video just explaining what the OES is, the optional event subscription, why you wanna be a part of that and what comes with being a part of that. Last week's house tour, we toured Wanda Carrasquillo's flip. She flew all, way, all the way from Puerto Rico to Utah to get the docks closed on this fix and flip. Congratulations, Wanda. She picked it up um, from, a, I believe one of her team members found it and notified her, asked her if she wanted to partner up on it. So she purchased it for 190,000. Her rehab budget is $40,000 and they are looking to sell it for around 325. The potential net profit on this fix and flip is $56,000. No, no money used of her own to get into the deal. So congratulations, Wanda. Make sure that you're tuning in to the, um, the house tours each and every week. They're very, very powerful exposures for your guests. And it's just great for us to see what, what's going on out there with fix and flips. So um, every week, this is our reoccurring event list. If you'd like to grab a screenshot of this, feel free to do so. <clears throat> Make sure that you are registering in Helios to um, get yourself, well, to get your guests protected. And <clears throat> it's really important for our registrars to make sure that um, everyone's getting registered. And then to access these events, you will go to teamelevateusa.com. It's got a list of all of our events that are happening each and every week. Every Tuesday, we have our profits intro at 1230 Mountain Time. Every Wednesday, we're doing a house tour offered in English and then an AIT bonus track study group offered in Spanish. And every Thursday at 7 p.m., you get to pick and choose what to go to because everything is at 7 p.m. And I'm just so grateful that there is so much value, so many things for us to plug into to help move us along with our businesses. So we've got our house tour offered in Spanish. That's the only event in Spanish on Thursdays. Everything else is in English. So we've got our pillars of wealth intro presentation, follow-up and funding webinar. We've got onboarding, essentials, business development, plus multifamily wholesaling and short-term rental. All these study groups are offered every single Thursday. And then we have these recordings offered both on Facebook as well as on YouTube. If you wanna be a part of our Renatus Team Elevate private Facebook page, lots of important announcements there. And these recordings are, well, these Facebook Lives are there and you can always catch the recording right after. So that's what I love about the Facebook Live. And then with our YouTube channel, you can find both these recordings there as well as our Zoom up calls that I mentioned just a moment ago. So tune into those recordings 
And let's go ahead and get started with our training today. We have Dane Clark with us, who is sharing with us what's working for him. Every Wednesday morning, he spends an hour and we get to learn about what's going well for Dane and his business. And what I love is that he is here to give back. He is all about finding out what's, you know, what's going on in our world and how he can help. So make sure that you take notes, think of questions that you can ask Dane. He's had a lot of, ex a lot of experience and a lot of success working with Renatus. So make sure again that you're tuning in and taking notes. Before Renatus, Dane had two jobs. He was working for Apple and as a roofer. At the time, he was pretty shy and um, not very comfortable talking to people. So he actually was in the back of Apple counting cell phones rather than on the floor talking to people. And then as a roofer, that's something that just happened because his dad did it. He needed some extra money and he was working on the weekends as a roofer. And at the time, just barely making ends meet and knew that he needed to start looking for other income opportunities. He learned about real estate investing and started to ask some questions about our program and finally got plugged in. He listened to his mentor, started to apply what he was learning. First was a velocity banking where he paid down some debt and used that as leverage to get into a duplex where he lived in one side, rented out the other side of the duplex. And we fast forward to today. It's been about five years now that Dane's been working with Renatus and he just picked up his hundredth deal. I think he's over a hundred now. And then also he has raised over $19 million from investors to go towards various transactions. So his secret to that is consistency and frequency. Not only is he killing it on the real estate side, he's also a very powerful marketing leader. So he's on the pit team in training to be on the PAC, the President's Advisory Council. So again, make sure to take notes. I'm excited for what Dane has to share with us today. Good morning, Dane. How are you doing? Good morning, everybody. Happy Wealth Wednesday. Thank you, Keely. Uh, appreciate that. Appreciate, appreciate that intro each week. Um, and welcome to my new stand-up desk setup. <laughs> so forgive me if you see me like pacing. I'm one of those that like talks on the phone and I'm always like pacing back and forth. So I'll try and stay right here though. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, excited to be here. I got some good stuff for you guys uh, today. I've, I've been thinking about this. Um, I'm not sure if this ever happens to you guys, but sometimes I wake up super early in the morning and I just can't go to bed because I'm so excited about things that are developing and things that I want to share with the Renatus Nation, with you guys. Um, this is your time. You know, and like, like Keely said, this is your time to, to develop. This is your, I, mean, I do this for you guys. And yeah, I get a benefit from this because for all, if anybody's ever heard Scott Rowe, he said something to me years ago that I, I took to heart. And he said, if you want, there, there's two motivators. There's, there's like put, put motivation out there for yourself and, and, you know, this is what I want and stuff like that. But there's another motivator that's sometimes more powerful and it's obligation. If you obligate yourself to somebody else, that's going to motivate you, right? And so we're going to talk about that a little bit today. But, uh, but yeah, you guys know what I like to do. I want to make sure I know what, what's going on in your, your neck of the woods, <laughs> your business, what's going on in, in your life in the last seven days. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, how many people did you get to talk to over the holiday? We had Thanksgiving in the last week. Um, so awesome, yes. Go ahead and chime in, guys. And I, I would love to hear from every single person. Um, Tiha, Stai, Sylvia, Scarlett, Sonia, Sandra, Samuel, Rob, 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 two Robs, <laughs> uh, Renee, Paul, Morgan, uh, uh, Matt Merrill, Melissa, Luis. I would love to hear from all of you guys. Linda, Laura, Loreen, Kai, Lara. Kenny, Carrie, Jose, how many people did you get to talk to in the last seven days? And I'm talking like all the stuff. How many people did you get to an intro? How many people did you bring up a real estate investing conversation? Uh, how many people did you get to start down the video funnel? Um, or did you do a one-on-one? -on -one? All that stuff. So, so Jenna, Jeffrey, uh, Kim, Idalia, GS, um, whoever that is, <laughs> uh, Gilda, Eric, 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 two Eric's, Doug, David, Dan, two Dan's, Dan and Dan, Corey, Charles, Brian, Bobby, uh, Arif, Amy, Alan, Ada, and then a bunch of phone numbers. 
Esther, you too. And I think I already saw Keely. Yeah, tell me, how many people did you get to talk to, even if it was a goose egg? That's okay. That's okay. Goose eggs, goose eggs happen every now and again. But, but one thing that you'll learn is, is as, you, as you develop in the real estate investing business, in, in line with the real estate investing education business, to me, it's, it's one and the same. One helps the other. If you do more in one, then you do more in the other. If you do more in this one, you, you, then you do more in the other. Um, but, uh, but yeah, be honest with yourself. I, I report zeros if I have zeros. And, and it's been a long time, actually, since I have not talked about real estate in a seven day period. <laughs> in fact, I think it was, I think the last time I did that, I had a, I had a goose egg was, um, I think it was January this year. And it was because we were camping in the middle of nowhere with no service. And so, I mean, I don't, I don't count conversations about real estate with my wife anymore. Cause it's like, that's like on the daily anyway, but anyway, you guys, get, you guys get what I'm saying here. Okay. So, all right, let's get some love. Look at all these comments. Look at you guys. This is awesome. Um, let's see. Good morning. Good morning. Holiday got in the way. Oh, Doug still said one. Um, holiday got in the way, though. Um, Esther, eight one-on-ones. Holy cow, Esther. Everybody give Esther a fist bump. Bam. That is awesome. Uh, one essentials order placed. And a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, Charles had a goose egg. Thank you, brother. W watch what happens. The success gods notice your honesty. And, and if you continue telling yourself, like, I am attracting people. We're going to talk about this today. I am attracting people to me that I know how to help. It's going to happen. All right. So Jeff had 11 conversations, one follow-up phone call. Gilda had two one-on-ones. Paul had two. Sandra had three. Jenna had 21 conversations, four follow-ups. Um, Matt had six conversations, two invites made, an offer. Nice. Nice. Good job, brother. Linda had one. Lara Jones, five about raising money, three about marketing, and four about real estate deals. Congratulations. Keely, two combo orders entered. Congratulations. Everybody give Keely a fist bump. Bam. Love it. Uh, working on funding, cash essentials, 11 conversations, and a new potential lender. Ooh, I might have you uh, share that tomorrow on the Raising Money Mastermind. Um, T has said one slow conversation. That's all right. They can go as fast as you want or as slow as you want to. It's that's totally fine. There's no wrong way to do it. Um, let's see, Doug, just counting. Oh, just counting the one-on-ones. Cool. Um, and and it's, it's entirely up to you guys, right? I, I prefer to count my one-on-ones. I, I, just, just so everybody knows, I, I believe why Doug is saying this. I prefer to count my one-on-ones because uh, that's what I know is going to directly relate to uh, my, my business. But, uh, but some people are at the stage where they just need to get into the zone of how many conversations am I having until that's just like a given, right? It becomes normal life to talk about real estate with, with everybody that you're around. Um, Dan had a, a goose egg. Amy had a goose egg. Um, Kim had five. Kai, two people, two conversations. Ooh, two coming Thursday. Awesome. Lara had five. Uh, Lorene had two and one invite to the intro. Luis, six. Lara, 12. I got to get through this. Look at you guys. This is awesome. Bobby, two people, two in funding. LaShawn, Velocity Banking, Super Saturday, four conversations for Brian. Man, look at look at you guys. This is awesome. Awesome. And thank you all for, for commenting that uh, or give it, giving love to, to your family, your, fre your fellow family, your fellow Renatus family, <laughs> something like that. But uh, all right, who, who are we going to help today? Let, let's pick one person and let's have a conversation. Let's have you come off of mute. And then uh, I would love to share some, some of the hey, ideas man, that I've had. Question. Charles? Yes. Uh, Char is this Charles? Yeah. I had, I had somebody right, close. Up, I was trying to think of the, the documents they signed. And the only one I could think of is the whole harmless agreement. I know there's a few more. But what are all the documents that they signed and how do you 
explain it to them. Oh yeah, okay. Here, let me share my screen. Um, let's see, oh, Kayla, can you let me share my screen? And bam, yes, iPad, share. So it depends on what they're buying. So if I share my iPad and voila, cool. We're in business. All right, so if I go to Helios, uh, depends on what they're purchasing, okay? So, so really my rule of thumb is, is they're going to sign um, once for all the things they're purchasing and for example, if somebody buys an Epix combo, three signatures, because there's essentials, there's profits, and there's the AIT, right? So, so, so that's, that's the first thing is whatever they're buying, there's gonna be a signature for that. If they're buying a, a extreme combo, two signatures, because they're buying essentials and AIT. Uh, essentials only, only one signature, okay? And so, but then there's also going to be the Oh my gosh, somebody help me with, with what this one's called. It's it, the, um, the, the, basically the one, the hold harmless. Oh my goodness. Here, let's, let's make an order. Order, add order. Let's sell something. Let's see if I can sell something to myself. Sell something to myself. And let's just, let's just put it all in there, right? Oh, can you guys not something see Something happened screen? with the uh -oh. screen, yeah. Something broke. And let's see if we let's see if we fix it. And aha, there we go. All right. So let's just add it all, right? We're buying everything. Uh, we're not buying the AIT advanced because the the one I just checked. In fact, here if I if I undo that, this one includes that one. And so I'm buying that one. I'm buying profits. I'm buying essentials. And I'm gonna get my ICM agreement, right? So me personally, this is what I personally own um, in my Renatus my Renatus uh, purchases, if you will. And I did apply the one-time discount for myself. And so that is, is what I've done. And I'm going to say, Dane is with me and would like to sign now, right? And so you can see, hold harmless. That's right, it, it is, uh, they used to call it something different. Uh, anyway, hold harmless. And, and so you can see, I've got three things to sign, AIT Extreme, Essentials and Profits. I, I'm also buying my ICM agreement, and so I'm going to, to sign that one. And then this one is new to Helios. If, if, you, if you predate before Helios was where, where we entered our orders, but there is a right of rescission one now. And, and that, one's, that one's just always, right? Whatever, whatever any, whenever anybody purchases anything, they always purchase or they always have to sign that one. And then same with this one, right? So there's so there's the two that we always sign always, and then it and then the rest of that it depends on what they're purchasing. Okay, and so this is the most this is the most signatures that anybody. Wait, wait, wait. I take that back. This is not the most signatures that anybody could buy, because if I go back, and I say um, continue without discount, and then I go to the next, then ah, it's probably not going to let me. It's probably not going to let me go forward if I don't add uh, billing something. Can I? Can it let me do a card? Nah, it's not going to let me. Darn it. So if I do the billing, then there's going to be one extra signature. And so let's see, how many is that? We had four, a lot. <laughs> now the nice thing with the Helios, when <laughs> when we used to enter orders like this back, you know, back in the day, um, before the Helios. We'd enter orders and and there'd be all these signatures and we had to like scroll and find them and <laughs> like refresh the page and find more signatures and scroll some more and and nowadays though when somebody is making their and you're walking through this process and they're making their purchase they sign it one time and it saves that signature and then they can just apply it to each subsequent document that they need to sign and so it, it automatically just takes them to the next one and apply my signature, take the next one, apply my signature. And so some people love to read it. That's not everybody, but, but I love to give them the opportunity. And some people are just like, yeah, it's probably just like signing up for my Gmail account. And I 
you know, sign the terms and conditions and yada, yada, let's, let's do this. Right. And so, so, and just, just for your guys' benefit there, I, I leave it up to whoever is making the purchase. Do you want to read this together? Do you want me to give you the cliff notes or do you want me to let you take this and grab, you know, some popcorn and sit down with your reading light and read this? Okay. It's up to you. And so most people say, Dane, just give me the cliff notes. <laughs> um, anyway. So yeah, great question. Did does that answer your question in in entirety, <laughs> um, or did I create more follow up questions for anybody? And let me make sure I see how do I how do I see comments at the same time. Chat box. There we go. Cool. All right. Okay. Any any other questions? And then I got I got stuff. I'm gonna drop a bomb on you guys today. Um, Ready, ready? Are they emailed a copy? Ooh, I don't think so. Uh, but they can log into Helios and and review it later at a late, if, if they want to. They can see the documents later on. Uh, but I I don't remember getting an emailed copy myself or anybody mentioning. So I don't believe so. Um, but uh but yeah all right okay i want to share something with you guys and and this this has been like you you guys have heard me talk about vision boards you guys have heard me talk about um uh affirmations a, a lot right to me that's like that that piece was probably i could probably attribute 85 90 percent of of my success to making sure that I had it right in here first. Okay, if if you're a spiritual person, then then you know, and, and I, sh I shouldn't say spiritual because because everybody everybody has their own their own system there. But if if you follow the 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 Jesus theology, then he talks about everything is created spiritually before it is created physically, right? And so in essence. And you can translate that into, and, and it's, it's so interesting as you study like all these different beliefs throughout, you know, and I'm not, I'm not here to talk about this today, but, but you study all these different beliefs and on a, almost all of them come back to the same principles. It's really cool. It's really cool to see this, but, but in essence, the, the, that theology is everything is created spiritually before it is created physically, right? And so if you get it right in here first, then it's going to manifest out there, right? But you got to get it right. So, so one of the things that I've I've been noticing, right? Because I'm I'm hitting some pretty big, um, uh, a, I don't know if I want to call it roadblocks or objections in in my business right now, where it's just some, it's almost like it's almost like there's there's too much to to, to choose from, right? Um, we we've got. Uh, uh, some of you that have been following me, I broke a personal record last week and we wired in like $989,000. This week, all of a sudden, we've got all this stuff and I, I got I to gotta track down $1.2 million by Friday. And so, and I don't have it. And so I'm sitting here thinking like, all oh, right, we got to go back to the basics here. And it's interesting because I'm going back to, I'm going back to, in fact, here, let me show you guys. I, I took a picture of this right. I literally, like my alarm went off. I got out of bed. I took a quick selfie. <laughs> <laughs> and I walked in here. Um, and so see, I'm wearing the same shirt. But but my one thing that I you've been, one thing I've noticed is I'm finding myself standing in front of my vision board because again, I'm going back to this where it's like, oh my gosh, like I'm I, growing pains. I, I don't know if I can do this, right? I'm 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 fighting this negative self-talk again. It, it's interesting because I've got this pressure, right? So so I've noticed that I've been finding myself standing and just doing all, going back to the basics, the, the affirmations. I'm telling myself every single day that I'm getting healthier every single day because health, health to me is a big part of, of living, uh, uh, let's see, what do they call that? You know, livelihood, if you will, living. Health is a big part of living, in my opinion right? I'm getting wealthier every day. 
And I choose to believe that every single person, this is, inter- this is interesting. One of the things that I've been telling myself, every single person that I talk to every single day, everybody on this call included is on purpose. And I am attracting people to myself that I can help and can help me, right? Whether that's just a light, a light, like, you know, lifting somebody a little bit, or if that's like, hey, let's do some business together, right? Either way. And it's, it's been so interesting. I've been getting calls. Uh, oh, 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 again, let me, let me talk about this going back to the basics, right? Because I'm, I'm visualizing. I'm visualizing. I'm, I've got my affirmations. People are being attracted to me. I'm, I, you know, here's, here's all the reasons of why I'm doing what I'm doing. Here's, here's what we're working towards, right? And, oh, I, I got, there's a couple of things I want to talk about. I, I, again, you can see I'm, I'm just crazy excited about this. And so hopefully you're not taking this as like, Dane's weird. But maybe, maybe that's a good thing, though. Maybe you need to like say, you know what, it's time to get weird. Or in other words, different. It start to, it's, it's time to start thinking about things differently in your life if you want things to show up differently. Okay, so a couple of things. Um, back to the mindset, Ooh. back to the mindset here has been something that has been so interesting for me to see as I'm going through this, this challenge this week. And, and I'm, cause I've, I've got my problem. I've got the thing to solve. I've got the thing that feels felt, I should say felt impossible on Monday this week. And, and as I have allowed time as I have allowed myself time to be putting towards ultimately what I want to accomplish, what I want to see happen in my life, you know, painting the perfect picture, painting the perfect picture of how things play out. As I've allowed time to meditate on this, to, to, to allow the receiving of, of uh, inspiration, if you will, to, to know how to act, to know who to talk to, to know what to do, right? I've noticed that the more time I'm spending, my mindset, I mean, I got to move this over. My mindset is getting bigger than the problem that I, that is at hand that I need to solve, right? That I need, and it's so interesting. I mean, I, it, it's, and, and like I said, this morning, I mean, I like, I like woke up and I was like, awake. <laughs> I have not been able to go back to bed, right? I've noticed that my mindset is becoming bigger than the problem that I need to solve, right? It's almost, it's almost as if I feel like I am becoming bigger, you know, back, back, to, back to all these things that I want to accomplish. All these things that are in front of me that, that I want to achieve are going to help me get to some of these these vision board uh, objectives that I've, I've put on here recently, right? And if you've ever heard me talk about vision boards, you can see that I care, I care about the functionality of that vision board where, where you can see, like it is very easy, look at this right here. I've got these, these little pins. I've already told my brain that, that, oh, let's see, can you see the, can you see my screen right now? For some reason, it's, it's not showing up there. Um, what what I'm drawing, but maybe it's just lagging. I don't know. Okay, but, but you can see I've got. Sorry, we're just seeing the picture. It's, it's not showing me drawing on it. I wonder. No. I wonder if I wonder if my internet is really buggy this morning. Um, there. I wonder if I need to to stop mirror and then start mirror. Uh, anyway, but you can see. I've got these clothespins. I've told my brain that I'm, it was easy to put that thing on my vision board. It was e- it's going to be easy to take the, these things off of my vision board. Okay. And for some reason, it's not. There, let's see if I. Huh. I guess it doesn't, it doesn't show if I'm screenshotting stuff. That would be helpful to know. Anyway, I'll, I'll deal with that later, okay? So, um, delete screenshot. Anyway, you can see, I've told my brain that it's easy to put things on the vision board because I'm just like clipping it to it, right? I'm not even taping it. And, and my hand, there's my handwriting on each of these things on my vision board. 
that I just put a, put a sticky note on it, right? In my personal handwriting. And, and as I'm sitting here and my, the mindset is growing, it, it, it's crazy. Like I said, it's, it's almost as if I'm becoming bigger than the things on the vision board because I'm allowing all this time towards what, you know, basically searching for that inspiration. What am I to do? What am I to say? What am, who, this is a big one. Who am I to talk to as I'm, as I'm working towards this, this challenge? And, and it was, it was interesting. This was like the, the biggest thing was who, who, not how, not when, not what it was. It's always come back to who, which again, just comes back to the whole thing of all wealth is created through conversation. The achievement, and this is so interesting. The achievement of your goal is going to be who you talk to. And how many of those who's, we're at, we're at Christmas time, so we, we, we get to talk about who's, right? How many of those who's do you talk to, right? And so again, I, I found myself, it's so funny, going back to the basics again. And, and so here's, here's what I've been working on this week, right? You guys, have always, you guys have always heard, make a list, make a list, check it twice. It's, it's, we have a bunch of really funny things that we can relate to Christmas time. But anyway, make a list of people, of the who. And I'm and literally all day I'm calling down. So here's one of my lists. All day I'm calling down my list and I'm talking to people I'm, and I'm checking on and how, how are things going? And I'm starting conversations and I'm talking to people that I haven't talked to in years. And I'm bringing up real estate. Right. And so I kid you not, like I haven't talked to this gentleman. In fact, if I if I pull up my text messages, uh, da, 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 mark, 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 right there. So, I mean, you can see I haven't talked to Mark since like 2018. Oh, just kidding. We, we, we shared a text message in January of 2019, right? We're so so month, almost a year. <laughs> and all of a sudden. He showed up in my life and, and Mark says, Mark says, Hey, I think I got a hundred grand, you know? Oh, you're still doing this real estate thing. I think I got a hundred grand that I, I would love to, to put, I mean, so bam, mark that down on my list. And you can see I've got maybe, cause I got to follow up with him again today to make sure like, like, Hey, you still got the hundred grand Mark. But anyway, <laughs> okay. Going back to the basics the hybrid of the vision board of what my goals are, what I need to do in order to, to achieve those things. But really it's who do I need to talk to? Who, and, and what do I need to say? Like, what does the conversation need to be around? Right. And so, so again, this goes back to, this, and and somebody somebody tell me that this is being helpful. This, this is helpful for you as as much as it is for me. Okay, Some, somebody give me a fist bump or something like that if you're if you're on camera. Give me a, give me a thumbs up in the chat box. Something. Okay. So so uh, let's see where was I going with this? Who 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 to talk to? What to say? Oh, back to this. Right. You guys have always heard me say that as as real estate investing Renata students, our jobs are to just be the detective. Because guess what? In the midst, and, and I said this right in the beginning of the call today, in the midst of me working towards making sure that I, I am doing these real estate deals, guess what else people are talking about? Guess what else people are interested in, in taking the conversation? Like, let's say they're not like Mark, where he's just, I mean, Mark's a retired guy. He rides his dirt bike every day. And in the wintertime, he, I don't know, probably rides a snowmobile every day or something, right? I mean, just old, an old fart that's a cool fart. But, uh, but at, at the end of the day, all he wants to do is twiddle his thumbs and make money, right? Put his money to work. And so, 
And so, yeah, uh, Mark is what I would consider a passive, a passive person where I'm just, I, the only time I'm going to call Mark is when I want money, right? In a good way. <laughs> okay. But guess what else? People are just naturally wanting to talk about as I'm bringing up real estate investing, going back to these basics of making my list and calling down my list and checking it twice and, and, and bringing up these real estate investing conversations. I mean, I got people that are just like, dude, I need, I need to get involved. Right. I, I need to, I need like Dana. Yeah. Maybe I don't have money, but I need to get involved. Like, tell me about this. And so I'm chatting with another guy today that, that in fact, oh, I, I chat with, I chatted with a guy yesterday. Um, and I'm chatting with another guy today where they're just like, dude, I need what you have. Are you still doing that Renatus thing? Like, man, I need to get involved. In fact, I, I just had a, I just had a, a big, you know, this is the conversation yesterday. Um, I just had a big payout on one of my business deals. And, and I think it's time for me to buy my combo. I, I, and I got cash. Let me clear it with the wife and, and I'll call you tomorrow. <laughs> you see where this is going? <laughs> <laughs> goes back to you you need to become bigger than the goals that you set for yourself you need to put the time the meditation the the spiritual activity whatever you want to call it let's call it time put that time stand in front of your vision board your goals, your dreams, and be waiting for the inspiration for you to know who to talk to. And it's interesting, if you are getting educated inside of Renatus, if you're watching your classes, you'll know what to say when it's time to say it, right? Your, your, brain, your brain does a really interesting thing when when you're, you focus on putting the information in and it, and it, your brain hears everything, right? Maybe your, your, your conscious mind doesn't hear everything or remember everything, but, but your brain has an interesting um, uh, way of, and, and we could get into all the spiritual, you know, whatever stuff of this, but, but needless to say, the brain knows and it knows what to put in the front of the mind when it's time to say it, you will be given what to say as long as you have put it in there at least once or twice and taken notes and watching your Renatus education, right? That doesn't mean that you have to watch classes first and then go talk to people and figure out who, you know, all the who's to talk to. You'll figure it out as you go. But focus that time, stand in front of that vision board and you'll notice that you become bigger. It, it's interesting, like you see yourself bigger than your goals, right? Oh, change your life. You'll be given who to talk to. And when you put that faith, when you put that, that gumption into go and talk to those people, you'll be given what to say. And yeah, you might stumble. In fact, I was just talking to a new student uh, a week ago. And, and he's like, yeah, like I've been, I've been trying this day and, <laughs> and I've been having conversations and I'm getting stuck. But after I finish the conversation, it's almost as if I, I receive the learning experience as, again, I put time towards that conversation. And it's just like, man, I know what to say now. If somebody ever says that again, I know what to say. Or I even had somebody say, that happened to me. And, and I called the person back and I said, oh, I've been thinking about our conversation. And you know what? So it just occurred to me. <laughs> and now that person is under contract on their very first fix and flip that they're buying for 210000 They'll probably sell it for 310000 after putting maybe $30,000, $40,000 of work <laughs> into this property, <laughs> right? You'll be given what to say. As long as you put that, put, put that faith. If you put that, uh, you take the action and you open your mouth and you talk to the who's. Okay. And, and so anyway, I've got, I've got one person that's just like, dude, 
I'm buying. Let me clear it with the buy, clear it with the wife. I've got the cash. I want, I want Renata, right? Another person said the same thing. <laughs> and they've got cash too. I'm gonna have a really big December in, in my Renata's business. And the real estate business. <laughs> Right. And it, it's interesting because I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but here's uh, you can't really see that, can you? It says two hundred thousand dollars in a month. To Like it, it was interesting when I put that on my vision board, it doesn't show me when I put that. Uh, I can't quite see that. But when I if you've ever seen my my vision board training videos, I say put a date, not the date you want to achieve it. Put the date that you stuck it on the wall on that vision board and so i think that was like a month ago and it's interesting like i can already see how and who i need to talk to to have a two hundred thousand dollar month in both renatus and real estate of course basically between the two or, or combined cumulative between the two tell me this is helping all right, so give me give me a head nod or a comment or something. All right, tell me this is helping. All right, because I can I feel like my brain is all kinds of scattered. <laughs> okay, so so biggest takeaway from today because we're uh, we got about ten minutes. I want to open up to a couple of questions. Okay, become bigger. Vision your envision yourself bigger than the thing that you put on your vision board. The more time you spend towards that, the more you will see yourself as bigger than the thing on your vision board, okay? Search for that inspiration of who to talk to. And if you are getting educated in your Renatus business and you're, you're coming to the meetings, you're having these conversations, you know, these practice conversations, whatever, you'll be given what to say in the moment that you need to say it to whatever who you're saying it to, right? And, and if you focus on, on telling yourself, I'm, a, I'm just a detective. I am here, and I, I've said this you know, many times, I am here to serve you. I, I love you, right? Go read um, Ogmandino's Greatest Salesman in the World. And you'll know what I'm talking about when I say this. I love you. I'm here to serve you. And I'm going to figure out how I can help you. And it's going to have to be through conversation, of course, but you become that detective. You got people, people that, that on, on your list that you're going to swing towards passive. You got people on your list, uh, you know, the who's that are going to swing towards, they want to be actively involved and they, and they want to, they, they want to jump in and, and, and get their hands wet with you. You got some people that just are dying to have you show up in their life so that you can help them with their property that has an underlying problem, right? I, I tell, um, I, I see Linda Pitcher is on, is on the call today. I tell the story of that deal over in Taylorsville all the time, where, where the way that it was told to me was she, her and her husband walk into the tire store. I don't even know what tire store it was. Uh, I always just say, you know, like Les Schwab, right? In fact, Linda, tell me what tire store it was, right? Walks into the tire store and, and, uh, and acts as the detective and brings up the words investing in real estate. <laughs> and the lovely lady behind the desk says, oh my gosh, do you want to buy my house? We got some people that are living in my house that need to get out. And, and, and we got, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, to, oh, it was the mechanic talking to the mechanic. It's like, yeah, like, please buy my house. Right. For, for, anyway. And, and I can't remember what it was purchased for, but it, it was sold for a hundred and some odd thousand dollars more after a bunch of fix up. Right. So, so, oh, like, and when you are a detective, it doesn't matter who you talk to. You can talk to all the who's. And you put them in the appropriate funnel, if you will, to help them. Now, of course, we all know that there are going to be plenty of people in this last box, the not interested box, and that's fine. I've talked to many of them in the last 48, 
hours, whatever, however, 72 hours ish. Actually, we're only we're only into into this week, 40 some odd hours. So 50 some odd hours, whatever. I've had plenty of people go into this box, even this week, and that's fine. It doesn't hurt me any. In fact, one of these days, I'll tell you guys one of the stories. Uh, we're buying a house on the 28th of this month that actually came from the not interested box. <laughs> uh, really cool story. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell that story when, when that one uh, plays out in full. Uh, but we're already, we already got signatures. We're under contract. I mean, money has already been transferred in earnest money to, to do this deal. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. But, uh, but yeah, I'll tell you guys the, the after story that went from not interested box to property problem and possibly more. We'll, we'll see that. We'll see. We'll see the that, where that one's going out. But again, you're just a detective. And you show up, you're there to love them, you're there to serve them, and you're going to figure out, you're going to figure out how to help them. Whichever one, whichever box, whichever path is, is most uh, desirable for that person, right? You're going to make some money. You're going to check some stuff off your vision board. And it's interesting, when you do it this way, the things that you put on that vision board, again, like I said, you put it on there with a, a, a clothespin because it's easy to take it right back off and, and put that in your, your binder that's like, here, here's all my proof. Here's all the proof that my, visions, my vision board works. You'll notice that when you do it this way, you take stuff off so fast that you're just like, what's, what, what's the point? My wife and I were actually talking about this the other day, where, where sometimes like if, if, if you do this correctly and you get good at this, right, take, take the training wheels off a little bit, you get good at this. I mean, to the point where you, you get so good at visualizing it, talking, you know, the who's and all the stuff and what the cause, who to talk to and what to say, that sometimes you'll, you'll, you'll receive things that don't even make it to your vision board because by the time you, you push the order button on whatever app that is, the, the one that has the butterfly on it that, that sends you the photos for free for $2 shipping, before it even arrives in the mail to stick on your vision board, you're already in the dealership or you're already you know, on the add to cart on the, whatever it is. You're already, you're already booking the flights to take that thing off your vision board. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, so questions. Um, questions that I may have caused to arise <laughs> as I've been on my soap, my soap box. Oh, it's not sharp could, fly. Here, I do I'll, could you, I'll look it up. Go ahead, brother. Could you help me understand a little bit more about like accountability partner or something like that? Something you said earlier. Or a partner. Um, yeah, oh, so it's called free prints. Free prints has a little butterfly on the, uh, on the app and it's turquoise. Free prints, right? So um, ask that question one more time. Help you understand. Uh, the accountability partner or I should say. Accountability. Uh, something something to you're saying share that vision board with someone mm. to be more effective um you said something about the very beginning of the training could you yeah, kind of enlarge somebody. on that um so there's a couple ways you can do this one is to to write and, and and if you guys have ever heard me talk about setting a goal if you cannot write like a one page essay, right? I'm serious. I'm going back to school, like essays. If you cannot write a one page essay, just about your goal, I would argue that you don't have a real goal. Okay. And so, and so my, my friend, I actually didn't catch your name. Who, who asked this question? I can't even tell. Paul. Who, let's see. Does it, Paul. Okay. So, um, uh, Paul, if, if you go to a, I think it's danclark.com forward slash tracker. danclark.com forward slash tracker. I've actually just revamped this. If you guys have not seen this in the last, I don't know, month or so, uh, I just revamped, revamped that, that concept of writing a one page essay, if you will, of what your goal. And it actually includes all the things, all the things I've learned over these last five years. Okay, it includes what do you want to do? Who do you want to accomplish? What do you know? What do you want to accomplish? 
Okay, and it actually, and, and so as you're writing this one page report, if you will, about a goal that you want to achieve, in the, in the questionnaire, it's going to ask you, who is somebody that you could share this, ultimately this one page essay with? Who could you share with that if you didn't do what you say you're going to do, that you'd be a little embarrassed, right? Sometimes if you share this, like, let's say you share it with a spouse. Sometimes that's not necessarily embarrassing if you don't do what you're going to, what, what you say you're going to do. But let's say you, let's say you share this with, I don't know, uh, a parent, one of your parents. What if you share this with um, one of your siblings, right? Especially an older sibling, <laughs> right? You see where, where I'm going with this? <laughs> Somebody that you would feel embarrassed because you didn't do what you say you're going to do. And, and I'm not talking the goal, right? You don't say you're going to achieve the goal. You say you're going to do the action steps, right? And that's what's included in that, in that worksheet, right? And so, so if I'm answering your question the way that I, I, I think that you are asking me, basically, if I'm answering your question correctly, Yes, you are. It needs to be somebody that you share that one page essay. And they have to be, has to be somebody that you would feel embarrassed so I, I because just, you didn't do what you said you were going to do. Right? Is that helping? Yes. Thank you very much. It's cool. a lot of help. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you could share it with me, but, but at the end of the day, if you're like, oh, I didn't do what I was going to do, like, I mean, I, that might be a little embarrassing, but I'll, at the end of the day, I'll, you know, pat your head and, 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 and uh, what, what, was, what was that thing that he, he does the Cindy Lou Who in, in the Grinch? He, he pats her head and, and gives her a cup of milk and sends her off to bed, right? At the end of the day, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I just, I love Christmas time. It is like my favorite, <laughs> favorite time of year, right? Oh, one thing I want to say because I'm not, I'm not sure who I have off of mute here. Um, one thing I want to say before, before we end, ah, I just lost it actually. Just my, my, my brain has been, my brain has been all, oh, oh, here it is. The things you do in December, right? Let, let's say, cause a lot of people are, are like, oh, it's the holiday. Like nobody wants this holiday, mate. Right, here's the, here's the cool thing about December, right? And, and I, after being in this business for five years, I can tell you, <laughs> I can tell you your future almost with what's going to happen based on what you do in December, right? Let's say you have tons of conversations, tons of conversations, and, and you, you, you like load up your not interested box, right? That's what most people think in the holiday time, right? I know I did. Here's the cool thing about December, though, November, December. The, the people that you talk to today doesn't matter where they end up. It does not. It does not matter where they end up in December. If, if they go to not interested, property problems, active, active, passive, does not matter where they go in the month of December that you talk to. Because guess what's going to happen in one month from yesterday, January 1st? What is every single American, I mean, for, for, I mean, probably even could stretch as far as the world. <laughs> what is every single person thinking come January 1st? What am I going to do differently this year? Right? How, how am I going to make things better? Goal setting, all the things, right? Yeah, thank you guys for, for these comments. And guess whose face is going to pop up in their mind when they're like, I want a better life. I want more money. I want more time. And because you are talking about those things, because ultimately you're talking about these things, I'm gonna put, I, 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 I'm gonna pull the rainbow. I'm gonna pull the rainbow pencil out. Because you're talking about these things with those people, come January 1st, I mean, this happens every year. <laughs> this is part of the reason why I like, I gotta talk to everybody in December. <laughs> Because then come January, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, dang. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In fact, some, for, some, for some people, this is already happening. I'm noticing, right? Some of the people that I'm talking to. Um, 
so just remember, even if you spend your entire December and it feels like people are going to this box, you just wait, my friend. You just wait. Because come January, people gonna call. People gonna ask, right? And if it's not this January, it will be next January, right? I got stories about that too. <laughs> a, a January later, uh, or I should say at this point, two January later, but whatever. You guys gonna know what I'm saying, okay? So make sure you got your vision board. Make sure you're spending time towards it, becoming bigger, and make sure that you're seeking that inspiration of who, right? In that, in that worksheet, in that worksheet that I've created for, for really myself, and you're all welcome to use that, in that worksheet, it actually has the opportunity to make a list of who's and go talk to them. So cool. My list of people wanting to get started after the holidays has been growing daily. Exactly. That is a perfect affirmation. Love it. All right. Let me check comments. Because I think I saw some questions. Somebody was, I think somebody else asked about the company. Oh yeah, we, we answered that. Cool. All right. We're, we're four minutes into the real estate call. So um, love you all. I'll see you in a week. And I think Jenna's got a testimonial here. Process of reconnecting, yes. Spoken of one to five years. How to organically make them aware and, and eventually invite them. Love it. Oh, next. Oh, she's asking me a question. <laughs> it's a topic for NetWe. Love to cover your process of reconnecting with old warm market leads. Cool. Remind me, Jenna. Remind me. We'll talk about it. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank Love you so you much, Dean. Happy Thank birthday you. to Jesus. And I'll see you That's right. in seven days. Love y'all. Thank you so much, Dean. Thank you, Keely.